Hey YouTube, welcome back. Um, <clears throat> today we're gonna be working on these two machines. And this bag is for that machine there. That machine, anytime I run anything on the right two outlets, here and here we pop that 50 amp circuit breaker. Um, so I have all new fuses or circuit breakers for that generator right here. Two new 20 or yeah, two new 20s and two new 50s. Um, so we're gonna dig into that, swap out that bad circuit breaker. I mean that that circuit breaker, that 50 amp trips, just turning on a grinder. So it's not overloading actually, it's just bad. Okay, so these are the two that I need to change, but I'm gonna change all four. Uh, but this is the one that keeps tripping. So this one and that one are 20 amp, that one and that one are 50. If you could look close, this is the power come from the generator. And then on the bottom of these, you have one that comes to this 20, one that comes to this 20. And then they each go down to the plug down there. And I hope you can see, cause it's the sun's bright, but. So anyways, I'm going to, uh, going on this those are all slip but these are screwed on and the new ones are slip on so I've got to get a splitter to go for there but anyways that's what we're doing so there's one there's two Ew, there's a lot of spider webs in there. Yuck! So the 20 ampers are going to be super simple because they're also the slip on connectors. Um, I'm going to have to probably go buy some screws for the new 50 amps. But, oh well. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna have to drill that hole out because these don't even fit. They're just a little bit larger. So I'm gonna have to drill at least the 50 amps out. I'll grab a 20 amp to see. Looks like I'll have to drill the 20s out as well. So no big deal, super simple. I have a drill bit. So I'm gonna go measure this with a caliper and bring it right back. Auto parts. Look at it. I like these a little bit more because they have this uh, rain tight connector over them. I don't know how much it does, but. Better than nothing, I suppose. Okay, so on this 50 amp, I decide I'm gonna have to uh, bolt those on for that to work. Not the most ideal, but it's also not a big problem, so. So anyways, these two bolt to the top. I'm gonna do the bottoms first, just to make it easier to reach. So. I 
had to drill a hole out through there, one drill size larger as well, just in case he cared. And if he didn't, sorry I gave you that information. Everything you see me putting on here is from Homeless Depot. It's uh, pretty conveniently located about half a mile away. So you will grab a screwdriver and a ratcheting wrench. Bummer, I don't have the right size ratcheting wrench. It's a 11.30 seconds. Goofy size. Nice and tight like a tiger. On to the next one. I'm glad you guys are watching because I initially plugged the wrong wire in there. Like, what in the world is going on? These two are later. and tight like a tiger. Hey, you guys still watching? That's in. Good. You need a new battery before we move on to the next project. Sorry for the background noise. Neighbors doing some gardening. I'll try and talk a little louder. Keep that in mind. But anyways, time to put this cover back on and uh, start this bad boy up and see if uh, I don't trip these circuit breakers. So let's see what happens.
hey, they call that good enough. Now they got these nice rubber boots over them. And uh, running this leg is that breaker, and that's one that kept tripping. And then running this outlet is also that breaker and this breaker, the way they had it wired. I put it back the way it was, but anyways, I'd call that a fix. On to the next project for the day. Thanks for watching.